Perfect. Oh boy. We are gonna try to shoot this in one shot here so I don't have to edit anything. So I'm gonna try to get to the point and uh, talk about a few things uh, while I'm running an errand or two. So don't mind that this is kind of a family truck that I've been borrowing um, to get around. Since Julie is taking the Fusion today, I took the truck. So, as you guys might know, um, on my recent Instagram post, I posted that I'm taking off the courses um, off my car. Now, uh, before there's any type of, you know, uh, random hearsay about why I'm taking the courses off, uh, did I think they were a little quiet? Um, at idle and driving around normal, yeah, I thought they were a little quiet. Um, remember, they're not the extremes. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the extremes, how they sound, uh, really like a lot more raspier than the, uh, the Roushes that I had, but at wide open throttle, I was pretty happy with the courses, um, but the price of the courses is just really, to me, overpriced. Uh, Corsa in general, I mean, when they charge almost $600 for a mid pipe, which is a double X pipe. I mean, that's kind of, kind of ridiculous. It's kind of stupid, but whatever, people pay that money, right? If people didn't pay that money for the exhaust, they would have to drop their prices. So without getting onto a much of a rant, uh, I'm gonna talk about my next exhaust system that I'm getting. Now, if you remember correctly, uh, so the exhausts that I've had before were the um, Cook's mid mufflers I've had. Now I'm talking about everything after my eBay long tubes. So I'm still running the same eBay long tubes that I installed about a year or so ago. Haven't any problems, haven't had any problems with them. Uh, running that custom three inch mid pipe uh, from the collector. Now I have three inches from the collector all the way back um, to the Corsa axle back. So it's full three inch all the way back. Now, <clears throat> Uh, the setups that I ran before I ran Cook's mid mufflers uh, So they were kind of a bullet muffler style. It was just a straight-through muffler um, Almost like just a resonator, right? Uh, and then after that I switched to the Roushes I believe Yeah, I think I switched to the Roushes and then I switched to the courses uh, the Roushes were good uh, They were super loud um, I liked them. I just wanted to change, right? You know, I, I got tired of it. So I was like, all right, I, I want to change. So the next exhaust that I'm getting are, <laughs> I'm either going to get a lot of hate for this, uh, or people are going to be interested to hear what it sounds like, but they are more of a JDM N1 style canister muffler. I guess you can call them fart cans. But the tip size is the same as, it's a little less than my Corsa tips. So you can't really say that they're fart can tips. But anyways, it's more the canister style. Um, but design wise, there's, it's a straight through muffler. It's a three inch muffler. It's straight through, it's glass pack filled. So more than likely, they're not gonna sound any different than I maybe the Cooks, who knows? Um, the style, the muffler style, Vibrant has something very close to it, but if you look at exhaust styles or exhaust choices that a lot of people tend to choose from, they tend to choose like Cooks, Magnaflow, Borla, um, whatever, right? I've heard all of them. I've heard Borla Attacks. I've heard Borla S-Types. I've heard Corsa Extremes. I've heard of Corsa Tourings that I had. I had... Um, I've heard Cooks, uh, Cooks Axlebacks. I've heard Roushes. Like, I've heard pretty much all of them. So I want to try something different. Uh, the total for, or, or was about 100 bucks for the two mufflers. Uh, They're on their way from California. They have like a burnt titanium tip. Um, I'm going to link them in the description below. Now, I have a track day next Friday. Um, and I'm going to hopefully get those installed maybe Wednesday or Thursday before the track day. I'm gonna get the exhaust done and then hopefully they'll be probably broken in by the end of the track day and I'm gonna do some exhaust videos uh, by the end of the day. Now, 
a lot of people are going to be like, hey, why the fuck would this idiot get rid of Corsas for some eBay mufflers? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen a lot of, I've seen people post up issues with Corsas, welds breaking, uh, mid pipes breaking, um, things going wrong. I've heard of people with MBRPs uh, that had rattles inside the cans. I've heard of I've heard a lot of issues with a lot of well-known manufacturers, right? That kind of further proves my point that mufflers are mufflers, right? Still, exhaust piping is exhaust piping. It. There's not many ways that there's no secret fairy dust that Corsa puts on their exhaust that allows them to charge $1,200 for an axle back. Like, I've never been, when I had my WRX, I had an eBay turbo back and then I eventually bought an NVIDIA G200 exhaust for like 800 bucks. And I put that cap back on and I didn't like it. Like guys, hey, don't fall into that trap of you have to spend a lot of money to get the car sounding the way you want. So I hope you guys understand my choices. Um, and, you know, I really want to see how it's going to look. I did a Photoshop and I was like, oh, okay. I'm not, well, the only thing I'm not sure of right now, if I'm going to mount them straight into the exhaust port or kind of <laughs> go with that theme and kind of have them a little slanted out the back. Who knows? I'm just going to have fun with it, right? Worst case scenario, it sounds absolutely horrible. My V8 with a blower sounds like a four-cylinder Honda Civic, which is highly doubtful. It's hard to get a bad sound out of a Coyote V8. Um, but worst case scenario is I cut the mufflers off. I'm going to do a custom tip again, and I'm going to do any, some type of race ball at Resonator. That's my backup plan. But more than likely, I think I'm going to like this new exhaust, at least for a little while. Now, in the, in the event that I do like this exhaust, I am going to upgrade those canisters to something like an HKS, like a real legit company. Um, we're going to see. Uh, Apexy, HKS, Gretti. Um, some of you guys might know what those brands are, but they're really popular, um, at least in the import world. And then I'm going to invest in it maybe and see how it's how it'll sound. I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, for you guys that have subscribed to me, uh, tell you guys my reasoning behind it, um, and then hopefully I'll have some good news to report next week. So you guys take it easy. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think they're going to sound like um, in all seriousness. Julie thinks uh, it's going to sound like a bunch of farts, uh, but I don't think so. I think the straight through muffler is going to sound really aggressive on that V8. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.